she would jump on her new cat tower because I bet she looked really cute over there. But right now she's by the window. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? If you don't already know, my name is Liz, Liz Laleo. And today I want to show you guys a bunch of um, my Lana Del Rey merch that I bought recently. A lot of vinyls, just a lot of good shit. And if you're interested in seeing me open that stuff up and seeing it in detail, then keep on watching. When I started the channel, I wanted to connect with people that I relate to and that like the same things that I do. So that's why I like to share everything that I love and that includes Lana Del Rey. Like I've been listening to her since um, high school. So I've been a stan for a really long time and when I was in high school, I couldn't afford to buy Lana merch or vinyls or anything like that because obviously I didn't have a job. But now as an adult, I am turning 26 next month in August. I got a chance to just get my hands on a bunch of different stuff. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. I have a ton of merch and vinyls to show you guys. I got hella versions of her latest album. Um, there she goes, there she goes, yeah. <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, Lana's my first cat, so I wanted to name her something special that I knew I would remember her forever. Um, so I chose Lana. I think Lana fits her really well, actually. And I don't know, it's a really beautiful, cute name. So I named her Lana. So starting off with this shirt, actually, because it's a uh, Lana Del Rey merch. Um, it's basically this little white crop top. It says Lana Del Rey in this font. And honestly, this is a medium. I feel like I could have gotten maybe a small, but even still, I love it. Also, if you're wondering about this heart-shaped necklace. I got this recently actually from, I think the brand is called Stinky Jewelry and I found them on Instagram and I'm obsessed with a lot of their jewelry. I know it's kind of like a trend to wear like chunky, ch <laughs> I can't talk, chunky necklaces now, but I'm obsessed. I love this. It's very like witchy, but also it's giving like, you know, like art teacher vibes. Stinky Jewelry, this is their logo. So yeah, if you're wondering about that, I will link them down below so you can check them out the other thing i wanted to tell you guys before <laughs> i get into the uh the merch i know it's a lot but listen listen i have to put y'all on i bought this because of tiktok this is a body spray it's like a little perfume mist from who's the brand i think the brand is called sol um but they have this body mist in the scent i almost said in the flavor but it's the scent it's pistachio and salted caramel this smells so good it smells so sweet and delicious and it's so lana del rey like if you're going to the beach you have to get this you have to it smells so good and i feel like the scent does linger like it doesn't sometimes body mist i feel like they're not worth the money because they don't really last long on your clothes or on your hair but this one does and the only thing I don't like about it is this top. Like, I hate it. it. I can't. There you go. Other than that, I super love this scent. I'm so glad I bought it. I saw somebody do a TikTok on it and they were like, you need this. It smells like the beach. Yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, say less. Like, this makes me want to go to the beach and sip on like a pina colada or something, you know? Okay, so moving on from that, we got the shirt. I also, girl, like, we're gonna get into the vinyls later, but I wanna show you the rest of the merch. I think I went too crazy because I spent years deprived of Lana merch and vinyls and just all of Lana. I couldn't buy because I didn't have money. So the other merch I got, it's in the same font as a shirt, is this. Uh, oh, I think I know what this collection is called. I believe it's called the Lowrider Collection. Um, so I got this lowrider daddy hat. That's what she calls it. Um, this one. You cannot tell me this is not good. Like, look. Is this not everything? Like, and with the, with the tank, I think it looks so good. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So yeah, there's this. And one more thing from that collection. I got this tote bag. I got the tote bag, you guys. 
same thing it just says Lana Del Rey but sleigh right it's a sleigh it's just a regular black tote bag honestly it's pretty big so I feel like this is worth the money sometimes tote bags are like too small but this one is really wide you see so those were the three things I got from that collection <sighs> when I tell you I've been wanting these two next items I'm about to show you for so long since they originally came out because if you're keeping up with Lana then you know she's been dropping merch that she hasn't dropped in like years and this is something again that I wanted when it originally came out but I couldn't afford to buy it so the first thing is the Lana Del Rey gold lighter like obsessed I can't believe I finally got my hands on this oh my god are you kidding imagine this and you're lighting up stop it doesn't have any um what do you call the stuff you put in here the fuel liquid or whatever but obsessed you can't tell me this isn't everything she dropped all this stuff in like weird timing like they were all like at different times so i definitely was buying stuff um not all at once but like separately <laughs> My other friend too, who likes Lana, I got her one of these for her birthday as well. So I had originally ordered two, so I gave one to her. I... Girl, ugh. I so badly wanted this when it originally came out, like I said a couple years ago. I also really want the um, Lana Del Rey Coke necklace, but she hasn't dropped that. She said she's making more, um, and it's supposed to be a drop soon, but she has not dropped it. Um, I hope that she's still making them because I would love to finally get my hands on that. Those are selling like crazy high on Macari and eBay and stuff. Like people are reselling that Coke necklace for an insane amount of money. It's crazy. The other thing I scored that I also really wanted, and you already know what I'm about to pull out. You already know. It's the racer jacket. This I wanted when it originally came out. But now I'm kind of glad that I waited because as you'll see in a second um she updated the patches on there and now it has like all of her current albums even the new ones so here it is i haven't taken it out of the the plastic thing i got a medium but i've seen tiktoks of people opening theirs and i'm afraid it's, it might be too big but it's too late it's too late now to return it it's been like forever i've been waiting to film this video so that i could show you guys but I've been waiting for everything to arrive because I bought it separately, like on different drops. Everything has been shipped like randomly, but I think I finally got everything. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let me back up some. Oh my God. That is so cute. Uh, oh my God, stop. Everything. Oh yeah, I gotta tell you guys what my favorite songs off the new album are. She has more on the other side too. Like she has all her updated albums. So Norman fucking Rockwell. See, here's her newer album. She even has her poetry book on here. Like, okay, let me try it on. Let me try it on. Ooh, this feels really good quality, you guys. So this was this was pricey. I think this was like a hundred bucks. Wow, even the tag inside looks so cute. It says LDR. Wow, this is really good quality. Oh, bitch. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Look what I got. Yeah. Me trying to brag. Oh, my God. Stop. Do I not look good in this or what? What? Like, are you kidding? Yeah. 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 Iconic 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 everything is iconic <laughs> wait no stop this is everything are you kidding it's perfect i like it a little bit um loose anyways so i'm cool with the medium y'all i'm cool with it i could have done a small but it'll be okay i'm slaying right now in this racer jacket <laughs> mm-hmm I cannot wait to wear that when it starts to get chilly outside but right now we're in the heat of summer so that's why i was saying get you some of this sorry i just love like perfumes and stuff that just makes you smell so good and juicy 
the other thing I got was the candy necklace and it came with this QS box that says LDR with a little heart on it. I'm obsessed. The only thing with this is that it's like, it's plastic. Um, but let me show you this beautiful ass necklace. And it's so Lana Del Rey. <laughs> so Lana Del Rey vinyl. It's a little pearl necklace and it says candy. Originally, I got the A&W necklace like when it first dropped. She hadn't dropped this yet. So I thought, oh, okay, this is the only necklace she's gonna have. But when I finally saw this, like this was an option, I was like, oh, I'll just buy that one and probably cancel my A&W necklace. Cause I, I think I prefer the one that says candy. But yeah, I almost didn't get this one cause I didn't, I was gonna settle for my A&W, but then I was like, nah, I'll just, I'll just cancel it. Because at the time when I had bought it, all of that stuff that I had ordered was all pre-orders. She looks so cute over there. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Okay, so moving on to like, the CDs and vinyls and stuff like that. I'm I'm just like over the moon to finally have Lana Del Rey merch because other than this, what I just showed you, I don't have anything. And again, I've been standing here for so long. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool that I finally get a chance to um, rep some Lana merch. I love her so much. I love Lana so much. I just really enjoy like her music and her poetry and her lyricism and her visuals like i think she's one of this generation's best artists like all around artists i just feel like her music resonates with me so much and to the point where it's like an emotional it's such an emotional attachment because i've been listening to her again since like high school so when i was going through whatever it was i was going through in high school like, I was really feeling her lyrics, you know? And I don't know if it's because we both have Leo Moons, which is pretty pretty cool. Alana is a Cancer Sun, Leo Moon. I think she's a Scorpio Rising. There's something about the way she writes her music and writes her lyrics and her poems that just is so fucking beautiful. I don't know, she really does touch my heart. So that's why she's like my number one favorite artist. Lana, don't do me dirty, bitch. Like if it ever comes out later that she's like a fucking horrible person, don't come for me. I will probably continue to stand her for the rest of my life because I feel like she just built such a deep part of my soul and like my personality and she's a big inspiration for me artistically and the way that I even make my videos on YouTube like she is such a huge artistic inspiration my top two favorite artists and they're completely artists in different ways and they just inspire me so 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 much and so deeply and they they move me. Their art move, moves me. Now, Lana Del Rey, which we've been discussing. I love her. Love her to death. Um, and number two, Christine McConnell. If you don't know who Christine McConnell is, she's an amazing artist. Like a real true artist. She's a master crafter, Christine McConnell. I fucking love her. I'm subscribed to her YouTube, her Patreon. Um, I discovered her from Netflix. Uh, she did a series on Netflix called From the Mind of Christine McConnell or something like that. And she built this like really cute, spooky gingerbread house. I don't know. It's really cool. If you like spooky shit and you just love that aesthetic, you got to check her out. She's fucking incredible. But you know what's funny is that Lana and Christine McConnell kind of look alike. It's so crazy. And let me, this is why I feel like you should look at like, your astrology placements and the placements of the people you look up to or who inspires you or who you just really love or have a deep connection with because i feel like you might see some shit. i'm pretty sure christine mcconnell is a leo which is so mind-blowing because everything she does literally stuns me and that's hard to do because i don't know I'm, i don't get impressed very often but Christine McConnell continuously impresses me with her art and her creativity and aesthetic choices and just like the pleasure that I get from watching her is insane and I feel like she's living the life that I want to live so yeah I love Christine McConnell and Lana Del Rey and it's crazy that they both have prominent Leo placements that I have and they both look alike I don't know I don't know it's just something that i noticed but anyways i don't know what we were talking about but let me show you guys the rest of 
this stuff. The next stuff that I have is CDs and vinyls and stuff like that. So first, let me show you the CD. I bought two of the CDs from her latest album. I bought her Target exclusive one, the red one. And I was in the car, but I have the vinyl too. So I'll just show you that. So I bought that one. And I also bought this CD. This one's a more exclusive CD. Um, I love this CD. <laughs> I know there's a glare, I'm sorry. But I got this CD not because I needed another CD because again, I had got the Target exclusive CD in my car. I listened to it in my car. So the reason I got this is because of the CD inside. So I will show you, I will bless y'all. Honestly, I will bless y'all. I will bless y'all now and later. Watch, just watch. What? What? I love this little art that she has on this CD. Like, blessed, blessed, blessed. I bought two of the cassettes because I thought the colors that she put them in were so, so beautiful. So the first one, again, it's the Target exclusive one. I don't think this one, I don't think they actually sold this at Target, but it's the cover that they sold. I'm gonna unwrap them because I've been waiting to open it up. So I'm gonna unwrap them. I know she's blown up a lot, obviously, because of TikTok. Like the TikTok girlies love her and her unreleased stuff, which is funny because I had a whole playlist of unreleased stuff on my old like iPod or something. Not iPod, but like my old, old iPhone. I wish she would release like her unre like all of her well maybe not all of it but some of her unreleased stuff like Queen of Disaster, Ride In with ASAP Rocky. I need that. I need it. I need it released. Oh my gosh! So I'm gonna open it up so you can see it. Look how pretty. Oh my god. So yeah. I do have a Walkman actually. I don't know where it is but I can actually listen to this if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I got that. So cute. I love the little cassettes. So the fact that she did really cute colors is so fun. Also got this one, this version. If you're a Lana stan and you also like all the things that I like. I also have like this little description in my YouTube bio if you want to read it of all the little cute things that I like. Music is like a big thing for me. So I listen to a lot of different genres. Just not just Lana, of course. I like K-pop. That's a weird niche. Um, K-pop is just fun to participate in if you're like an active stan. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. I love the baby pink. I love it. So yeah, I got these two, I think. I literally only got them because they're the case that she put them in. I think it's so stunning. So I got the two pink ones. Anyways, moving on to the vinyl. Girl, I got like four different versions of that why am i doing three it's four four different versions of the album okay i think this was this was like the first version that i bought this one i genuinely feel like she looks like a vampire in this picture i love it i feel like she did she really like went all out with this album because the amount of versions and little things that she has released oh my god obsessed it's like the best time to be a lana stan right now because if you know she can be a little bit inactive sometimes and not really like do a whole lot, but she's been like, she's been in it. I love the jewel tones. Like I love the green with the baby pink. Such a good vibe. This is the back of it. This is the inside, if you don't already know. This is the first sleeve. And here's the other sleeve. Oh yeah. So this one, I thought it was going to be a lighter pink, but it's more of like a, a mauve purple pink. But it's still really pretty, so I'm not, I'm not hating on it. I just wish it matched the, uh, the cover a little more, because this pink and this pink are not the same. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to look past it. How pretty is this? So cute. If you guys bought the album, let me know which one you got and which one's your favorite or if you got any merch. Like, if you're a Lana Stan, I want to hear everything. Everything you got to say, like, which what album you think is a favorite. Don't ask me that. What songs you like off the new album. And actually, I'll tell you guys while I talk about the next one. Um, this one's the other one that I got. Look how fucking gorgeous she looks. With the pink and the hair and the bow. 
Mm. I even love the back. Her in the green. Mm -mm. This is the thing. It's like it was so hard to just choose one album that I ended up getting like four versions. And that's not even all of them. Like I think she has, does she have two other ones? I don't know, but she's been going ham with all the variants. I saw this online. I'm like, oh, look how gorgeous this is. Here's the first sleeve. Oh, this one's so beautiful. This is the second sleeve. Like, the photographer she uses for these things, they know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, this one is like a bright green one. Again, I thought it was going to be like um, a more muted green. It's more like a mint neon green, um, but it's still really pretty. I bought the Target exclusive one, which I have not opened yet because I wanted to open it with you guys. I believe there's a poster in here and I'm thinking about when I open it up, putting the poster. I want to put it somewhere in the pink room, but I don't know where. Maybe, maybe in the background. She looks so gorgeous in this picture. Here's the back. This is probably my favorite like inside art. It's so beautiful. Are you kidding? What? I want to be there. Like, I want to be there. Here's the first sleeve. This is the other sleeve. This one's really pretty. This one's like um, a deep pink color. <sighs> oh, like, look, stop. So fucking stunning. So pretty. It kind of looks red, but it's more like um like a hot pink. I don't know, but I love it. I love it. The poster. For a second there, I forgot about it. Oh my god. Oh wow, it's bigger than I thought, but I love it. Cute. Cute. I think I want to put it. Um, I think I might put it somewhere in here. I just don't know where. Before I show you this this masterpiece, this god tier vinyl. Um, I want to tell you about my some of my favorite songs on the album. So just off the top of my head, I really love The Grants, Sweet, A&W, um, Taco Truck, Let the Light In, Paris, Texas, which a lot of people have been saying reminds them of Coraline. And it kind of does have that like music vibe to it. And it just fits so perfectly when people do like Coraline edits and they put Paris, Texas over it. And I'm like, ugh, the vibes, the mashup between Lana and Coraline. I just, it's like, it's so good. It's so good. Because Coraline is one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, Candy Necklace. How did I forget? Candy Necklace. Peppers. We love Peppers. I honestly, I really love like all of the albums. But of course, those are just some of my favorites. The only song I don't like on there is the Judah interlude, which is not on this vinyl that I'm about to show you. So she, when she dropped her vinyls, she dropped most of her variants at the same time. But this, this one came after the fact. I'm not sure why. I'm not mad at it, but she did remove the Judah interlude from this vinyl. For educational purposes, I'm going to show you the front of it. It's beautiful. It's art. So, you two don't come for me. Okay, so here we go. Stop. I'm so happy I was able to get this album because it is like a limited pressing. Like, I don't think she did like a whole ton of these. So, I was able to get it and I'm so happy about it. It's so beautiful, honestly. It's so stunning. So, the inside is just this. But she does have these pictures of herself. Gorge, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm actually not really sure what the sleeves look like. So we'll be seeing that together. Okay, cute. There's that one. Here's the other sleeve. That is Lana, if you can't tell. This one is just a black, black vinyl. Which I'm totally cool with. That's, it's just one of her other pictures. These, a picture of like some tanks or whatever i'm not really sure what those are i don't know bitch i'm so i'm gagged like i'm so gagged 
so those are all the versions of that album that i got i also have two other ones to show you that i also got recently when i was buying merch off her website it gave me an option to buy one of her kim charles over the country club vinyl and i didn't have that album in a vinyl yet so i just went ahead and purchased it it's a clear vinyl and i think that's pretty like i don't think clear vinyls are really that rare but i don't i don't own one that's clear so i thought that was pretty cool and the other thing i was gonna say is that i don't i'm not somebody who has tons and tons of vinyls I rarely buy vinyls. The only vinyls I do have are of albums that I completely love, aka all of Lana's stuff. I did get the Kim Trails Over the Country Club album. She has some fucking amazing tracks on this, but I gotta say this is not like my favorite album or even at the top. From this album, I will say the ones that I do love are White Dress, Wild at Heart, Dark But Just a Game, so good. Not All Who Wonder Are Lost, that one's good. Tulsa Jesus Freak, iconic. Kim Trolls Over the Country Club, iconic. I don't think this is a specialty one. Like I said, like I said, this one's just like a clear album. It's like a clear vinyl. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, I didn't even show you all the inside. I'll show you guys. Pretty. This is pictures of her and her friends and family. Her brother looks so much like her. It's so crazy. He's also foin. Oh, so pretty, so cute, so wholesome. So yeah, I got to pick this up because they had it on sale. Because I was buying merch, and they're like, "You can get this album on with a discount if you buy it now." So I was like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." I just add it to the cart because I didn't have this album and now i do okay last one last one last one so recently this is another lana vinyl that i did not have before and now i do so recently i went to new orleans and on one of the last i think it was the last day we stopped at a record store and i just so happened to come across this vinyl and when i say that i have not seen this vinyl in person and i've been to like you know quite a few record stores here in atlanta and stuff and i have never ever seen this vinyl in store it's not even like a specialty one like i'm pretty sure the color of these vinyls is just black which i'm totally cool with um but yeah it's just like i think it's a little more rare to come across this album so this one is the honeymoon vinyl and this one is a fucking masterpiece we know we know we know lana del rey honeymoon um i love this album so much like i remember when this first came out and people were calling the hotline on this car uh that was pretty cool i used to girl i used to have this is this might be embarrassing but i used to have when i was in high school i used to have a lana del rey like stan account like it was a, an account on twitter dedicated to her and posting pictures of her and like just talking about her and just like i was fucking obsessed with her in high school i still am but like <laughs> so funny i used to have a lana stan account but anyways i picked this up at that record store and i'm really excited about it again i've been dying just dying to open these with you guys and i know it's gonna get rid of this but i don't i don't think i mind I wonder if I could oh I could keep the sticker the sticker is gonna come I might keep it yeah I'll do that we don't we were not gonna talk about question for the culture we we're just not we're just not um but look how pretty so cute the iconic bangs let's see beautiful beautiful oh I think she did a version with this it might have been like an Urban Outfitters version, but she did one with this as her cover. She is so insane sometimes. Like, I just can't even believe it. I wish so bad that she would go on tour, but she has not announced that this year. Um, sad face. She's been doing a lot of festivals, but she needs, she needs to go on tour. So cute. This one doesn't really have too much. And then on the other side is just the American flags. She is like my favorite white person. <laughs> you know, like her and Christine McConnell. 
It also came with this little pamphlet, which... Oh my god, stop! It has the lyrics! I didn't even know it came with this. So, obviously, Honeymoon, so fucking good. Music to watch Boys to, Terrence Loves You, High by the Beach, Freak, Art Deco. I love this interlude, the Burnt Norton interlude. I think that's how you say that. Uh, Slay. I even love Salvatore. Uh, I gotta tell y'all a story about that. Uh, the Blackest Day. The Blackest Day is one of my all-time favorite Lana Del Rey songs. Swan Song is really cute and her iconic uh, cover of Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. Um, so good. Okay, so before I end the video, I want to tell y'all the story about Salvatore. So, I just told y'all I went to New Orleans recently and we were out one night drinking and stuff, walking around and... We passed by the Vampire Cafe and we all kind of had to pee and we wanted a drink while we were walking around. So we stopped by the iconic Vampire Cafe in New Orleans and I can put pictures here as well. And I stopped, we stopped by, I went in and I was using the bathroom and it was like really, it was kind of late at night, obviously by this time. And the whole cafe is super aesthetic, the bathroom aesthetic, vampire aesthetic all the way. And I'm sitting down and I'm peeing and that, like I start to hear like the music playing. I'm like, what's this song playing? I'm like, why does it sound like Salvatore by Lana Del Rey? Like I was like in disbelief. I was like, I heard the song slowly picking up because you know it starts off slow. So there was a moment where it clicked and I was like, this is Salvatore by Lana Del Rey. And like I was already kind of like tipsy. And I was in such a cute dress and my little bat necklace. Like, I was definitely a vibe that night. And to be at a vampire cafe listening to Salvatore play was just, like, such an experience. And I remember walking out of the bathroom and I was like, yo. Like, I was, like, just singing along, walking my, making my way out. And I get outside and I'm telling my friends, I'm like, do y'all hear it? Do y'all hear this? Because, I mean... I don't really know a ton of people in my real life that love Lana Del Rey except my one friend. But I think she told me she's like more of a recent Lana Del Rey listener and she doesn't, I don't think she knows a ton of her disc choreography. Um, but she was like, yeah, I heard it, I heard it. Um, I don't know. I don't know why that made me so excited and it was just such, like I said, it was an experience. Like I could not believe what I was witnessing. I'm like, first of all, which one of you put this on the playlist? Second of all, what what a combo because I love like spooky stuff like, you know, vampires and shit and I love me some Lana. So the combo was just giving and the vibes inside the bar. I was like, Ugh, nobody here understands like the joy I felt of just like listening to that song <laughs> in the bar. It was just a quick stop. Like we literally stopped to get drinks and like use the bathroom pretty much. I had to pee. And it was cute because I got one of the little like blood bags and it was just like a sangria or something. It was cute. But yeah, that's my Salvatore story. Just imagine. I, it felt like I was in a fucking movie. Like I'm like kind of tipsy. I'm kind of feeling myself. I look gorgeous. And I'm in this like spooky vampire bar and you're telling me they're playing Salvatore. And I just hear Lana's vocals coming in and I'm just like oh shit like I was really in that bitch really feeling it and really living in the moment <laughs> but that is my Lana ex vampire story so yeah whoever put this on a playlist is a genius like you did something you need a raise you need a raise but yeah thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble on about Miss Lana Del Rey um yeah, I hope that she tours and I get to see her. I saw her at her last tour because I wasn't able to see... Girl, <sighs> I almost saw her Born to Die tour, but me and my brother were going to go see her. And this was when we were in high school. Like, So he's like a year or two older than me. And he got the tickets and he got them so far away. I was like, I was like, no, we can get better tickets. Drop those. I remember we were texting each other back and forth uh in school <laughs> like i remember being in like i think i was in culinary my culinary class i remember texting him i was like we can get better tickets we can get closer tickets yada 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 so he dropped the tickets to get better tickets 
and boom sold out we we didn't get any tickets at all and it was so upsetting like i think i'm i think i might have shed shed a tear at that point um i was incredibly sad <laughs> that we didn't get any tickets but that was like my bad i was dumb like i didn't think that she was gonna sell out um that was like back in i don't even know that was like before maybe it was like 2014 i don't know or 2015 before i go i do want to say what I, my overall thoughts on her latest album i love it obviously i bought four different versions so i fucking love that album i don't think it's her best one necessarily i, I i'm still like listening to it i feel like each album comes with their own era in my life so like born to die will always have a special place in my heart because obviously that is something that I listened to in high school so I had like associated memories and like vibes and just all that stuff associated with that album when honeymoon came out I was in a different part of my life when ultra violence came out which is one of my that might be my favorite album but I don't know I don't know I, I've tried to pick a favorite album and I just can't like it might be ultra violence it might be norman fucking rockwell it might be honeymoon i just i just i don't know i don't know ultra violence though iconic some of her best shit i kind of sometimes i wish she'll go back to that sound but i respect her as an artist to like grow and experiment and do whatever the fuck she wants but sometimes i just be wishing that she would do something similar to ultra violence or bring back those like raw instruments just wanted to give you all my thoughts on the album i love it it's really good i think it's really dark and vulnerable and i just i love it i appreciate it for what it is uh, again i don't think it's my favorite album of all time from lana but it's definitely not that doesn't mean that it's bad she just has a lot of good shit like <laughs> but yeah thanks again for watching and i hope to see you guys in my next video ciao oh before you go, um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'll be talking about shit over there too. And I'll be posting like aesthetic pictures and stuff like that. So I'll link it down below if you guys, <laughs> damn, if you guys want to check it out. <laughs> Lana, que haces? Lana, que haces? My, uh, my pets speak Spanish, by the way. I love her. I never knew I could love a cat. The way that i do because i've always been like a dog person and then i she's my first cat uh uh no 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 hagas eso bájate vamos jesus so yeah she's my first cat i've only ever had dogs and of course i love dogs and i love my current dog her name is zombie but when i got lana like i don't know something happened in my brain and i just love her i'm obsessed with her i bought her this freaking second cat tower because i wanted her in the back of my videos um <laughs> okay now i am rambling so i will see you guys in my next one bye really yeah i bought you a whole cat tower so you can do that and you want to do it on my chair <laughs>